Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. It is Sunday, April the 30th, and our devotions are coming from Joyce Meyer's book called Trusting God Day by Day. And I am obviously not at my home. I am at my daughter's house spending a couple of days to kind of be with them as they're adjusting to being mom and dad. <laughs> okay, so our devotion today is entitled, Encouragement Always Pays. Our scripture is out of the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. And I believe this is out of the Amplified Bible. <clears throat> Remember this, he who sows sparingly and grudgingly will also reap sparingly and grudgingly and he who sows generously that blessing may come to someone will also reap generously with blessings and with blessings okay most of the time people take the reaping and the sowing as being financial that's not necessarily the case let's read all of us need encouragement it is a tool that increases our confidence and inspires us to act with courage, spirit, and strength. That is what we need. We don't need anyone around to discourage us. Instead, we need encouragers in our lives. I'm an encourager for sure. <laughs> because we all encounter difficulty while we are running our race and trying to reach our goals, we all need encouragement. The more we get, the easier it is to stay on track and avoid wasting days or weeks in discouragement, depression, and despair. One of the best ways I know to get something I want or need is to give some of it away. God's word teaches us to sow and then we shall reap. If a farmer plants tomato seeds, he will get a harvest of tomatoes. If we plant encouragement in the lives of other people, we will reap a harvest of encouragement in our own. What we make happen for someone else, God will make happen for us. Think about that. Do you sometimes find yourself wishing you had more encouragement, maybe from your family or your friends or your boss? But how often do you encourage others? If you're not sure, then make an extra effort right away. You can be the channel that God uses to keep someone confidently pressing towards success rather than giving up. And this is uh, one thing. I, I know that part of my personality is an encourager, so it's, it's a little bit of like second nature to me. But I know that what goes through my head when I am seeing somebody do something or you know, um, I'll just use an example. I was at the airport traveling, you know, several, several years ago, and there was a line backed up for the ladies' room. And the reason the ladies' room was backed up was because they were cleaning it. And the gal who was in there, nobody could go to the restroom because she was mopping, she was doing something. And there were quite a few people grumbling behind. And I remember you know, it can be annoying when you have to go or if you're in a rush. But I remember just saying, I'm going to encourage this woman. And so I thanked her. I said, I thank you so much for keeping this space clean and sanitary for us as we're traveling to our destinations. You know, and uh, she looked up and smiled because I could tell she felt the pressure of the line that was building up. I said, just thank you so much for making this place clean for us. And that did a lot to encourage her. And as it turns out, she wound up being able to quickly get some things done, you know, cause she could have been so focused. I don't know if she realized how long the line was, but when she looked up and, and after I encouraged her and it, it can just go a long way. I mean, I can even give the example of my daughter who's brand new mommy and she has all those new mommy fears. Am I doing it right? Am I making a mistake? You know, those fears that plague you when you're a, a new mom. And I just encouraged her and I told her, I said, you have everything you need to be a good mommy. You have good instincts. You're well prepared. You know, I said, 
things are going to happen. I'm here to help. Other people are coming to help. And I said, it's a great blessing for you. You're doing wonderful. Today is a much better day for her. Emotionally, you know, because you have all that going on too. But <clears throat> to encourage someone is to let them know they're doing okay. Even if they make a mistake, you know, people are going to make mistakes. I hate making mistakes. I really do. When I make one, I really need encouragement <laughs> because I could slunk and then pull away from doing things because I don't want to fail again. You know, in my mind, making mistakes is like a failure and I hate, to, I hate that. But receiving the sweet encouragement of, well, this didn't go well, but that doesn't mean everything else you've done has not gone well. It's gone very well. You know, so just reminding people and making the effort, even like the simple act of telling some someone, a woman, or I, for me, it's a woman, um, telling them that they really look nice when they've made an effort. I don't compliment men because I think that's inappropriate. I have a husband. He's the one who gets my compliments. But you know what I'm saying. If somebody did a good job, you can tell them, wow, that's an excellent job. Don't just keep it in your head. Let it come out of your mouth. And it just so happens that words of affirmation are one of my love languages. So that's also very easy for me to um, release the compliments, you know, uh, to release not flattery, but the encouragement and the compliments. So if you're thinking it in your head, it's likely somebody might need to hear you say it. So... Don't keep those complimentary thoughts in your mind. All right, now let's, our trust in him today is choose three people to encourage today. And if you're going to be going to church, you're very, very much going to run into three people. Okay. Trust that God will give you the perfect word that that's, they've been waiting to hear. So that's again, trusting the Lord. What can I say? Who can I speak to? And let him lead you to the right person. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word. Help us, oh God, to be encouragers, to be the ones that lift other people up. Lead us by your Holy Spirit and give us ears to hear and eyes to see that we can give the exact right word, deliver that word of encouragement, and then help us to reap a harvest of encouragement ourselves. If this is new for people who, who might be listening, they've never even thought about doing this, give them confidence to step out and do this, Lord. Not in, with insincere flattery, but with a desire to lift up and encourage. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for your word and helping us to grow deeper in our relationship with you. In Jesus' name. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you decide to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I am eating up every second I get with my sweet Nora girl. She is the cutest little button. <laughs> she is so sweet and a very, very good baby. And we're just, we're all in love. We, she is such a blessing, such a blessing. Well, leave your comments below. If you know somebody who uh, you think would be blessed by these devotions, please feel free to share the channel. I am encouraged by all of your wonderful compliments and the, the words of how the devotions are impacting you is such an encouragement to me because I've said it before, putting these out was not my idea because I don't think I have any extraordinary wisdom or experience or knowledge of the word. I just, I'm just like you guys, you know, and I thought, well, what can I offer by putting my devotions up? But I let that thought fleet away because I distinctly heard the Lord to put it on. And I was like, okay, I said yes and just trusted that he was going to do with it what he wants. But uh, God bless you. Thank you again for spending a little time with me. Bye until next time.